For some reason, many people think God is some sort of vending machine for blessings. Hello, friends. Welcome to the study of God's Word, which is uh, the source of guidance for real spiritual growth. Let's pray together as we open the Bible. Father God, we pray that as we open your word, you will bless us and help us um, apply everything we learn to our growth in you, that our experience with you will grow closer and closer, and that we may bring others to the feet of Jesus to enjoy a better relationship with you. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, my friends, today we're going to study the book of Acts, chapter 8, verses 18 through 24. Please come with me to your Bibles if you have them with you, and let's study uh, Acts 8, 18 through 25. Here's what the Bible says. When Simon saw that the Spirit was given at the laying on, the, uh, at the laying on of the apostles' hands, he offered them money and said, Give me also this ability so that everyone on whom I lay my hands may receive the Holy Spirit. See, some people think that God is some sort of a vending machine for blessings, that you just pray and the blessings will just come straight out of the machine. Have you ever been to one of those places where there's no food, there's no restaurants around, or you just don't want to walk and there's a vending machine there and you just insert a dollar or a quarter or something and then there's money that as you put the money in, something comes out like a, a water bottle or uh, some sort of juice or chips or anything. Um, see, some people think that if they pray enough, God will have to pour blessings upon them. Some people th think that if they if they do good enough, God will be mandated to uh, give them blessings, to give them the crown of eternal life. If they are good enough, God will have to give them the crown of the eternal life. That is completely insane. God is not mandated to you anything because of your uh, merits. And as a matter of fact, if it's about my merits or your merits, we will never receive anything from the Lord. Never, ever, ever. But Simon thought that his money, his good, his things could achieve something with God. See what uh, Peter answered to him. Verse 20. Peter answered, may your money perish with you because you thought you could buy the gift of God with money. You have no part or share in this ministry because your heart is not right before the Lord. Repent of this wickedness and pray to the Lord in the hope that he may forgive you for having such a thought in your heart. For I see that you are full of bitterness and captive to sin. My friends, I want to give you two lessons to take home today. The first of them is this one. There's nothing we can do to earn anything from the Lord. It doesn't really matter how much you pray. It doesn't really matter how much you study the Bible. It doesn't really matter how many people you bring to the church or to the feet of Jesus to a closer relationship with God. It doesn't matter. God does not depend upon the good you do in order to bless you. Does that mean you don't have to pray? Does that mean you don't have to study the Bible? Does that mean you are not supposed to bring others closer to Jesus? I didn't say that. You don't do those things because you earn your blessings. You do those things because you love God, don't you? Right? So that's the idea. God will bless you regardless. And you will bless him regardless. God will give you many blessings just because he loves you. You're supposed to give him your blessings, your money, your friendships, your everything, just because you love him. But not out of... Uh, the sense that he's kind of a bending machine. If you give him enough money, then he's got to give you back some blessings. 
If you give him enough good merits, then he will have to give you the eternal life. No, God is not supposed to give you anything, but he just does because he loves you. And that's the way um, we should act in our relationship with God. So there's nothing you can do to inherit, to merit salvation. And the second lesson I want to, I want you to take home is it doesn't matter how much money you pour into the, the envelope at church. That doesn't make you deserve anything or any blessing. Some people think that because they have given so much money, they deserve the blessings or they deserve some voice at church. You know, everybody should be, should be heard. Everybody should be listened to, but not because of the amount of money we give. The idea is that we give the Lord whatever we give because we love him. I pray that today, as you, as you start your journey, you remember that God is not a vending machine for blessings. God is a friend that you're supposed to love. And I pray that you will love God with all your heart and that you'll be ready for the blessings that he has already given you. And he is going to give you even more blessings as you go through life. God bless you, my friend.